Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. I'd like to give you all a quick update on compounded terzepatide and everything that's going on between 503B pharmacies and the FDA. As y'all know, and as I've talked about in other videos, on October 2nd, the FDA agreed with Eli Lilly and said that terzepatide, also commercially known as Manjaro and Zepbound, was no longer in shortage. And when the FDA announced that, that meant that effectively compounding pharmacies could no longer make essentially a copy of terzepatide because they were filling a gap that's only allowed when there's a shortage of this medication. So of course that made compounding pharmacies scramble and the Outsourcing Facilities Association, which is a trade association that represents 503B pharmacies, essentially sued the FDA saying that they did not make the decision wisely. Terzepatide is still greatly in shortage and asked that the FDA reconsider their decision. Well, in a shocking turn of events, last Friday, the FDA agreed. And even though they have not taken terzepatide off of the FDA shortage list, they said that they would reconsider their decision and make a final decision on whether terzepatide is truly in shortage in the future. They didn't give a specific date to make that announcement. I'm assuming it's probably several weeks away, possibly in November. And during this period of time, compounding pharmacies could continue to essentially make a copy of terzepatide. For me personally, I use a 503A pharmacy, which is a local pharmacy that distributes terzepatide on a one-to-one -one scale, meaning that when they receive a prescription for terzepatide, they dispense the medication. I've talked about in other videos how you can safely get compounded terzepatide and semaglutide. You know, there are lots of counterfeits and dangerous products on the market, especially these online pharmacies where you're not seeing someone face to face and the compounding pharmacy can't be vetted. I just urge pe people to use great caution with that. If you're receiving products from an online pharmacy and those products are being shipped directly to your house from an international location such as China or Turkey, I would greatly caution you and I would even say that those are probably not safe ways to get compounded anti-obesity medications. At the end of the day, if the deal seems too good to be true or you're not speaking with a physician that's trained in obesity medicine, I would say that those are probably not safe ways to get anti-obesity medications like terzepatide and semaglutide. I'll keep everyone posted on this ever-changing landscape of compounded anti-obesity medications. And I wanna remind everyone that yes, I am a physician, but I'm not your physician. So you need to talk to your own physician about how to navigate this landscape. Thanks for joining me.